Flex Reads. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite book series. This year, I probably would say throughout my whole like reading journey is the year where I have read a lot of series because the ones I'm going to talk about today, I still haven't gotten that feeling <laughs> that I had reading those. The ones I have been reading, they have come close to it. But these three that I want to talk about, like hands down my favorite so i want to share some with you so the first series that i was like obsessed with i started off and it was back in 2019 i remember in november I stumbled upon it at walmart but the two books were these it's by the author wahita clark it is a thug series and the first book out of the series is thugs and the women who love them and then the second book is every thug needs a lady now like i said i was at walmart and i was shopping of course i have to go to the book section and I saw this and I was just going to get this one. But then something said, we'll get both of them because you might read this and want to read the book right after you're done reading that. And I noticed I do that a lot. So I said, I'm going to have this one on deck. And when I read this, I was like, oh, I'm obsessed. And I bought the whole series, you guys. Oh, this was so good. Also, too, this was like my first attempt with reading like urban fiction. I would say first urban fiction like book and series that I really enjoyed because the first time I read an urban fiction book, I was 28 years old and I read The Crotest Winter Ever. And I know people love and rave about that book, but it just frustrated the mess out of me. What Winter was doing. Ooh, so I'm like, let me give, you know, urban fiction another chance. And I'm glad that I did. Okay, it is seven books in the series. And this is um, a group of women. They live in like New York, New Jersey. And they're super duper smart, you guys. Their environment is real hood, okay? And they know that. But their thing is, look, we not go stay in the hood. We go, you know, get our, we go get our education. We go get our chips together. And then we go peace out. And that's exactly what they do. But I think what fascinated me about this, I had... You know, I just assume with urban fiction, you know, it was just, oh, you know, little ghetto women shooting, killing. They got baby daddies, you know, again, just assuming. OK, and although there are stories like that, these girls are college educated. They go to Ivy League schools, you know, Princeton, Stanford, you know, schools like that, Ivy League schools. And one is an attorney. Another one is a scientist, a physical therapist. Um what else? Uh, I think a sociologist. So smart. But their men are trash because they're in the drug game, but they're trying to go legit. They know that, look, we getting older. We want to start a family. We have families. We know that this drug game is not going to be good for us because first of all, everybody go get God. So they're like, we go take our little crooked money that we made, but we go make it legit. I talk about this series so many times. I loved every minute of it. I think this year I actually reread, was it this one? The first one. I just wanted to get back in the mind, you know, minds of the girls. Um, and these are actually re-editions. Came out a couple years ago. I just love them so much. Okay, so that is the Thug series by Wahita Clark. Next, Ethic by Ashley Antoinette. I read this back in 2022. I always say I still have to get the first and second physical copy because I listen to them and when I listen to them I realized I said I actually want to have like the tangible copies and then also too they were um the third book on my audible it wasn't available I had to buy it and I'm like you know what um I'm just gonna buy like the physical copy and read them and I'm glad I did this story was so good. This this story had me hooked. I don't normally do a lot of like reviews, book reviews on my channel, but I had to talk about this. And I'll link the video that I did like two years ago. I just loved it so much. The same thing with the Wahita Clark. Y'all, I never read a series like this. never read a character like this, if I'm being honest. I just love the way Ashley Antoinette wrote Ethic. My mind reading this like, oh, this is a real man. And I have to keep on telling myself, Girl, this is a fictional character, okay? It's just books. They're just books. That's how well and real and raw she writes. And her stories are, it's page turners. I do have to say with this series, I think she did drag it along. I think this series, she could have done, she really could have stacked that three books, but I say, okay, at least four. 
because some of it it did get a tiny bit monotonous and it was like oh you're just dragging it along please hurry up yeah but she has you so hooked that you will continue to read this series you're going to continue to get the books and that's exactly what i did and had a ball reading this one character i would say that i cannot stand out of this whole series and she has her whole spinoff is morgan which is his um which is basically his stepdaughter right can stand morgan and i bought the first three butterfly books that is her series and i got rid of them because i realized i'm not going to read them and i remember i actually bought that series before i knew anything about this and i realized after reading this i don't like her so i'm not even going to waste my time and that i only have three of them and i think she's on what five or something like that I just don't want to read her she just got on my nerves i really wish she would do a spinoff on bella which was ethics daughter i like the lonnie you know his his girl she just oh it got frustrating too but i had to realize okay she has some tragedy that went her way so of course she's going to be up and down but it was like that the game that she played it just bothered me because it's like look we gonna be together or not okay i know what i did you gotta either take it or leave it that got on my nerves that honestly i did but overall i still did like alani um again i can't i can rave and talk about this book so much this just got me together in a good way so yeah and then the last series i want to talk about is a series that i listen to i always listen to all of her books and i do think i'm going to get physical copies of it because i just like this author so much and it is first it's alexandria house she is a black romance author and she knows how to write romance i think the reason why i like alexandria house she can give you that fairy tale but she can also give you that realistic you know romance and it's just done right series that i'm obsessed with with hers is the the roman university series that was the first series i listened to hers and when i realized i like her so much i started really going through her whole catalog three books in this series my favorite is probably teach me there's three women they met in college these are very smart girls um for the one i really like Nadia, she holds a phd she is a professor at the university and she's like 28 okay brilliant and she ends up meeting a young man nathan is actually one of her students and he was a professional football player i believe and he didn't finish his education so he's like you know what i want to go back to school i want to finish my degree and he has two children of course they have chemistry but she's like i can't date you or see you until like you graduate okay i'm not fraternized with no student you see how it goes this was so good this book was so good and so deep for me you guys where i would fall asleep like every night in order to like pacify myself to go to bed i would put this on and i would fall asleep um i tend to do that with a lot of her books but that's how much i loved this story in particular um so that one is my favorite and then touch me it's giovanni and charla and charla she's also a professor at um the university and in comes a young man named Giovanni. He is an artist and he's going to be doing a like basically a residency or whatever at the school. And yeah. Yeah. Again, I don't want to give it away because it's just so good. And then lastly is Tempered Me. This one is about Brooklyn and Van. Van and Sharla, they are brother and sister. Brooklyn started to go with him and I think I don't think Charlotte knew. She is the only one out of the crew where she doesn't work. She just wants to go to school to basically marry somebody. Her thing is, okay, I want to go to school. I do want to have a degree, but her main thing was, I don't care about what came after because she was trying to land her husband before she graduated, okay, or close to it. And that's what she does. But the marriage is trash and she realizes I made a huge mistake um and also too her thing is she want to be taken care of okay so her husband is very wealthy extremely wealthy but there is a price to pay for that but with this one this is not a spoiler either because it's in the synopsis but why brooklyn's mama ends up being with her husband i would have been done with mama we uh, -uh. i would have been done with mama 
I would have been done with the husband. It would, oh girl. Uh, when I read that, I was like, wait, what? And the way that she wrote it, my mouth was agape. Cause I'm like, are you kidding me? Like your own mama go, go with my husband. And then the fact, like, you just think about that. Like I have slept with him. You have slept with him. I mean, I just, oh, it, yeah. I don't even know betrayal that bad. Like that tops the cake, okay? So you go deal with a lot with her. But again, since it is a romance, happy ever after. Oh, she is one of my favorite. If you guys are looking for a black romance author, I would, she would probably be my first to suggest because she's that good. Again, you get the realistic aspects, which you do get the fairy tale. And then you get, you know, like the black love, just everything wrapped in one. She's perfect. So yes that is it for my series um oh speaking of series i just for the first time i literally finished this today you guys before i let go by kennedy ryan loved every minute of it but while i was reading it i was thinking of songs in my head so i created a playlist on spotify i'll put my profile down below if you think i'm going to start with some books making playlists of some songs that i think about when i am you know reading the book because you guys know when i do my monthly wrap-ups i always talk about what i listen to you guys know how much i love music i also have a playlist of like summer of this year and then i also have a hidden gems playlist yeah check that playlist out for uh this book it is really good but yeah guys that's all i have for you when it comes to this video and i'll be back with more black books bye